Howdy folks, we're going to do a video here on the pros and cons of having an LPG, in this case butane, uh, fuel system in your automobile. The truck that I've got is a 1976 Chevrolet C20, it's got a uh, Chevy 350 in it, and uh, it's got a butane system installed. Show you what we got back here. We got a 30 gallon tank, that's how you fill it up. Runs up here, and this is a first generation butane system. You, all you got is your regulator, you got your electronic solenoids that turn the gas on and off. And then uh, this is your, um, it's like an enrichener valve. And then it goes to a fuel ring, which has just sort of been smashed in between the air filter and the stock carburetor. I'll show you guys starting this thing up and then we're going to talk about uh, pros and cons about it. All right, so truck's on. Turn the gas on down here. Boom. Gas is flowing. Starts up like normal. So as you can see, this thing idles great. It stays nice and cool. This is warmed up. I've already been driving her around. Um, it runs just as good and reliably as a gasoline truck. I'll show you guys how I switch it to gas. First off, I switch that switch off on the inside so we got no more um, butane flowing. Take off the air cleaner. Air cleaner's off. I'm gonna take that off. All right, that's my fuel ring. I just sort of set that there. And then this is the gas supply. We have a mechanical fuel pump, which is basically running all the time, but this is a gas supply. And it burbles a little bit of gasoline into the old carburetor. Turn that all the way open. We'll come on around in here. We crank on her a couple times because she has to fill the carburetor back up. But everything else is the same. And there you go. Still runs the same. Still got pressure. Run on the old carburetor, the gasoline. All right, now we're all back together. Got my fuel valve off. Um, I'll run the uh, gasoline out of the carburetor for a minute or so, and then I'll switch on that switch uh, for the butane, and um, we'll be back to running on butane. And it really is just that easy. All right, so pros and cons. Uh, first off, the most obvious pro is that uh, down here, butane is a lot cheaper than gasoline. We'll pay about five U.S. dollars at the pump for gasoline, and only like two fifty, two seventy-five for a gallon of uh, butane. Um, con, you do lose about twenty percent of your horsepower and your efficiency, so um, you calculate that into your savings. But even with that, if you're if you're cool with that, then um, it still is, is is a pretty good savings, especially for a big gas guzzler like this one. All right, we got another pro, and that's really the simplicity of the system itself. Uh, because they're so simple, most gasoline motors can be retrofitted to have an LPG system on it. Um, they're really super simple, especially ones that are uh, first generation ones, which are meant for um, carbureted and throttle body injected 
gasoline motors. They do have fuel injected LPG systems, which are a little bit more complicated, but they can go in in line with a uh, fuel injected gasoline motor as well. And you can just switch them on and off. You know, I think some of them, they start up with LPG and then they switch to gas or the other way around. I don't know too much about the later ones, but I've been reading up a lot on these earlier ones and there's just almost nothing to it. You know, high pressure gas goes in through here, gets regulated, low pressure gas comes out. Um, this is our little mixture dial. And um, what it does, the, the way that this works is it gives you a constant stream of gas. So you have to meter it all the way down so that you're not wasting gas and making too rich of a, a mixture, but you wanna dial it up again so the motor actually has fuel to burn. Um, unlike a carburetor where you have slow jets and main jets so you get a little bit of gas while you're idling and a lot of gas while you're revving, this is just one solid stream of gas so it's sort of an average throughout the horsepower range. Um, could it be better? Yes, they've improved upon this. You know, the fuel injected LPG systems are really the tits, but uh, this is how this one works. Um, even with it just giving you constant stream of gas here, I'm getting, I mean, 12, 13 miles per gallon. Doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm only getting a little bit more out of the gasoline. So uh, it is a big gassy V8 and I am saving a lot of money using this system. Now a con I would say would be availability of the fuel. Um, it isn't down here because we have gas stations that sell the fuel. And also there's a guy who drives by every other morning and he literally just drives right down that road honking, seeing who needs gas. And you run out and you wave at him and uh, he pulls in and he'll fill you up. Um, but if you're in the States or if you're somewhere else that uh, doesn't have a lot of these, uh, this infrastructure, um, then finding LPG gas, butane or propane or whatever can be a hassle. Some folks might think that it's a con that um, the, the propane or the butane is very dangerous. You have a lot of images in your head of these tanks blowing up. And it's actually quite a bit safer than gasoline. If you get a puncture in your tank, in a gas tank, the gas is going to leak out. It's going to pool, you know, in, into some part of your vehicle. It might pool underneath it or in, into your trunk or whatever. And there it just waits. It saturates everything and it waits for an ignition source. If you have a puncture in your uh, butane tank, it's just going to evaporate out into the air. Additionally, if it does find an ignition source, it's mostly like a flame up. You know, it's not an explosion like uh, like on, with gasoline. So I'd say that it definitely is safer. And a lot of folks also think that it's hard on your engine. It's not. It's a clean burning fuel. Um, and uh, the studies have found that there's there's no reduction in longevity of your uh, um, of, of your motor. Some guys say that you should run a tank of gasoline every 15 or 20 tanks of butane to lubricate the valves a little bit. It doesn't sound like a bad idea, but um, the studies that I've been reading have been showing that, that there's, there's no measurable increased wear in your valves from just running straight butane. This thing has been running butane for years and years. I only recently um, fixed the carburetor and restored the carburetor so that it could run on gasoline. because I wanted to have a true dual fuel um, vehicle because we're getting into the next pro and that is you are doubling your mileage. I uh, now have two fuel tanks. I can fill up on gasoline, I can fill up on uh, butane and I can drive twice as far because I've installed this extra gas tank in my truck. It only takes about a minute or so to switch over from one to the other. Speaking of the gas tank, one of the cons is, is that the next, the gas tank does require a little bit of space. If you're putting this in a car, a lot of people decide to put their tank in their trunk. Um, my tank was mounted in the back here, just sort of open, and I decided to encase it in this nice uh, cabinet here. But um, yeah, it takes up a little bit of cargo space. And if you have a small vehicle, that's something to keep in mind. I put this little dial down here as a pro all in itself. Um, if you've ever had to rejet a carburetor on any kind of vehicle, you know that pulling the carburetor off, pulling the bowls, pulling the jets out, putting the jets back in, testing it, 
going back and doing it again and again and again is a real pain in the ass, especially then if you've got to change elevation, you're driving up a mountain or whatever. Uh, this little guy does it all for you right here one time. So um, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> you can just change your mixture right there. Well, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. You got any questions about LPG systems in general, let me know. Uh, I'm really excited by it. I think it's pretty cool. I've got ideas in my head about making an LPG motorcycle sometime down the line. Uh, just, you know, gas grill regulator and a butane tank on the back of the motorcycle. I mean, that would be really cool. So uh, stay tuned for some of that. Later.